All right, a question we always get in class is, what is a developer? Because it sounds kind of loaded. Like you read developer and you're thinking coder, especially if you've been in tech for any uh, number of time, um, any number of years. And right. basically the way I think of it is it's, it's anyone who develops value. They're, they're sort of a product developer, not so much a coder developer, but they make the stuff. They make the things that you're selling or they make the things that you're giving to your customers. And that's the way I think of it. I mean, Jason, what do you think? Yeah, I would agree with that. I would also add that a developer, at least on a Scrum team, is someone who's acting as a team player. So what you don't want is each individual person taking their tasks. They don't want to talk to anybody. They just want to do their own thing, you know, go off in their corner, work, 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 and I'll come back and throw it together at the end. And that doesn't really work uh, in, a, in a Scrum team. A, a Scrum team is full of developers who are team players, who are collaborating together to achieve a single goal. How about you, sure. Greg? Uh, I, th I think the team concept is brilliant. It needs to be, I think, definitely fleshed out. If we can start to envision team players as having overlapping skills, even in addition to just simply working as a team collaboratively, some overlapping skills, ensuring that whatever is needed for the product can be done and can be built by the team as a whole. Uh, having those skills available and present in uh, your team is key. So uh, those those skills can be diverse. It's not just coding, uh, putting the uh, Lego blocks together, if you will. Somebody needs to understand the, the benefit of testing, perhaps, and uh, maybe even be a really good documentation writer. Some of those things are all necessary as part of uh, the, the developer skills. Uh, Rob, do you have anything else to add to that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you mentioned a bunch of different skills, and I, I think of a developer as also somebody who doesn't think, oh, that's not my job. My job is software developer sure. number three, and that's clearly below my title. No, a, a team player is somebody who, uh, they jump in. They say, how can I help? They're always mm -hmm. learning new things. Uh, good teams are resilient. They're robust. They can adapt. And if you can only do one job, well, what if you need a vacation? Or what if we right. need a different skill that week? So they take over ownership and results and they focus on that and then they do what it takes to get it done. Yeah, I think there's this myth out there that there's, you have to be a generalist. You know, what you're saying is that you have to have lots of different skills and then people take that too far and you think, oh, I have to be able to do everything. It's like, no, 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 we can, we can honor your specialty. You can have a specialty skill set that you're deepest in, but we want to flex outside that specialty to help the team achieve its goals. So if the best thing that the team needs from you right now is doing something that's outside your specialty, rolling up your sleeves and getting some testing done or, or trying something new that you haven't tried before. That's what you need to do to be a team player on a scrum team. That's awesome. Um, something that came to mind, you mentioned testing, and uh, I think that speaks of quality issues as well. Um, developers who don't take accountability of quality, I feel like leave the team uh, wanting and leave the product wanting. So a key aspect uh, I think developers within teams need to keep in mind is you own the quality. You're accountable for that. Uh, not just understanding what is needed, but making sure it happens, that it's built into the product. Um, this has been kind of a fun round robin conversation. I, I love that we get asked these questions in class. They seem so simple on the surface, but then you start breaking them down and saying that, wow, developer is not just a coder. Uh, we've kind of debunked that. And uh, hopefully there's some additional comments from uh, some of our viewers. So feel free to uh, comment below and we'll jump into the conversation with you.